Okay, say you're like me, you got your nephews for the weekend, and you realize you got five bad at I mean, uh, little bundles of joy who are tearing up your stuff. You're going to want to get them out of your house into a restaurant, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, so you're going to get kids eat free. This is an app that tells you restaurants in your area by location, zip code, or city, and they tell you which restaurants have free food for uh, kids under a certain age. So I'm going to search by zip code. All right, do a little zip code search. And then it's, I'm gonna get a res, uh, group of results. And I know one of my nephews is allergic to seafood, so I'm gonna avoid the seafood restaurants. And I say draft house, sounds like a bar. But as you can see, kids 10 and under eat for free. All my nephews are 10 and under, great. Everybody get your little butts in the car because we're gonna drive to this restaurant. I'm gonna get directions, see it says navigate to address or show on map. I'm gonna call ahead, get a table because you're gonna stop tearing my stuff up and you're gonna start tearing the restaurant stuff up. You're gonna get something to eat for free. I'm gonna pay for my food, maybe get a little drink because you guys have been stressing me out all day. It's a great app, it's called Kids Eat Free. Get it now in the market, I love it. Okay, what you're seeing here is Opera Mini 5. It's an Android browser, except it's much faster than the default one because rather than have your phone load content, they load it on their server, compress it, then send the information to you. So while the default browser might take me a while to load Androinica.com, when I enter it here, let's go. It's gonna load much faster. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother doing the the browser side by side comparison test because trust me, it's a lot faster. You'll notice it. Uh, basically, you can go through, click links. It's very snappy. You've got your forward and back here. When you press the little button right here, you can see your tabs, windows open. I can open a new window, or I can press settings, get my bookmarks, save pages, downloads, history, etc. And uh, the start page. Start page is this little towels right here for your most visited sites, your favorite sites. So I can click on it to go to Facebook whenever I want, New York Times whenever I want. And if you go to Angelina a lot, which you should, you just press the little plus button, put that on there, and then as you see it's loading, now you've got your uh, your tile to go to Angelina.com. Uh, Opera, I want the full version of this app. But right now, I'll settle for the Mini because Opera Mini 5, the beta, is very fast. It's much faster than the default browser, and I like it a lot. So grab it from the Android market. You will, too. Uh, surprisingly, uh, one problem that I've noticed so far is you can't set it to your default browser. That sucks. Please fix that. Okay, we all saw that app that Dwayne Wade had in the commercial. Well, here's something called My Closet. I'm not sure if it's the same one or if it's just something similar. Concept is very simple. You register an item. You can import it from uh, your account on myclo.com, or you can take a picture of a, a, a item you have, a shirt, a jeans, blouse, whatever. So I take a quick picture of my shirt. This is just for the sake of this demonstration it's not an actual one hold on then kerplow then it's processing and it's forced closing right? but then you you try again because that's what you do when things don't go your way team america baby Okay, so now it's there, and I can register it uh, as tops, bottoms, outerwear, shoes, accessories, blah, and others. I'm going to represent it as a top. I'm going to call it my Crooks, because it's in the brand of the shirt, Crooks and Castles. And color, it's navy. Let's just say blue for now. And then available ones, blah, blah, blah. And you register it. Just like that, you now have a new shirt to have. And you say no. 
and then one day when you're trying to get dressed trying to figure out what to wear you log and coordinate you see what you've got you press coordinate and it goes through all the stuff you have you browse to your tops browse to your bottoms and you mix and match and say okay I'm gonna wear this skirt with this blouse obviously I'm not gonna do that but that's what you would say if you're a woman or if you're a dude whatever floats your boat no judging and then just like that you got your stuff you know what you're gonna wear today it's called my closet it's available for free and that's it now we all know that voice to text transcription is not a new technology but it's also not a great technology either it messes up your words often but if you want to have some, be able to record your audio notes and then upload them to speak right which is the name of this app and service you can have an actual human being listen to what you say and then transcribe it so I'm gonna press record this is Andrew Kamika I write for an Android website other stuff that I do is none of your concern shut up and write down what I'm saying I press pause and I can play it back this is Andrew Kamika I write for an Android web and someone's gonna if I press submit it'll upload to their website and someone will type out what I say so if you're someone who is driving down the road and likes to take audio notes for speeches or for essays and have someone transcribe this this, this would be something useful but they do charge you money obviously because they have to pay the guy that's transcribing so it's a per word transcription fee but if you don't want to pay that you can still use this app because it's a great uh, uh, voice note taker all you have to do is press save you put a little name and now it's going to be saved in your call log uh, the next time you want to get back to it all you have to do is press audio files and it's going to be there you're going to long press and then you can email it or you can edit it to hear yourself and you play it again you can also use the camera to take photos and then record a little voice notes so if you just want to use this for the transcription service or just for the voice uh, recording purposes it's good either way it's called speak right and it's available in the Android market it's one word speak right this is Andrew from andrewwinica.com and you just watched another Android Absolute video subscribe subscribe